Facebook, Twitter, Google, grew up in an environment where they could not be sued thanks to 230 protections. Now that they're abusing these protections, Donald Trump wants to eliminate them completely. Boom! Here's why the Donald is incorrect. 230 protections came about to prevent growing internet platforms from being sued for what other people uploaded to their sites. They were deemed to be platforms. Like the telephone company, they are not responsible for what is transmitted by users over their lines. The theory is that online platforms were not capable of policing uploaded content. The responsibility is on the users. Again, it was instituted to allow the growth of the internet and online platforms. It prevented excess litigation from derailing them as U.S. businesses. It was one of the rare bipartisan acts of legislation that was very profound and good for society as well as business as a whole. The problem today is that the big tech companies, and specifically here I'm referring mainly to Google, to Twitter, to Facebook, are not behaving as platforms. Twitter and Facebook are literally controlling what we see. They are amplifying voices on the left-hand side of the aisle and curtailing information that might have had detrimental effects to Joe Biden's election. Even today, they suspended a Pennsylvania state senator, a colonel in the U.S. military, who went on the offensive and said that the votes, the electoral votes for Pennsylvania should return to the legislative body because he believes that there is malfeasance within the Pennsylvania elections. Twitter magically suspended his account. They've done this numerous times. Of course, Twitter and Facebook both prevented the dissemination of the Hunter Biden email laptop scandal that also implicated his father, Joe. Something else that Twitter has decided that the public should not see are Sidney Powell's documents regarding her lawsuits and the Kraken, as she call it, that are alleging massive amounts of fraud in this election. But Twitter has decided that the public should not see this. They are acting definitely as publishers. They are deciding what gets distributed on their site. So Donald Trump comes with the argument that 230 protections should be abolished altogether. That again, prevent them from being sued for what other people upload to their site because they are no longer acting as a platform, but as a publisher. But here is the problem with removing the 230 protections. At this very moment, YouTube is able to remove videos automatically that they deem to be hate speech, that they notice have a copyright infringement issue. It's not done via people, it's done via artificial intelligence. So YouTube is not often, even if the 230 protections were to pass, they were to become a platform slash publisher, they aren't going to get sued very much because they can just turn up the dial, they can ratchet up the AI censorship and take down anything that potentially could get them sued. Anything that might be objectionable content to them as a leftist publisher. This is, they have the ability to do. The deep pockets, Facebook is also developing their own uh, AI and Twitter certainly has have deep enough pockets that they could afford to purchase from their sister lefty Silicon Valley company. They can afford to purchase the artificial intelligence and employ it on their platforms slash publishing houses as well. So what is the reason that I'm so in favor of keeping these 230 protections despite the fact that these big tech companies are acting in such a horrible manner today? The reason is because it prevents competition from kicking in. It prevents their competition from growing. Right now, the oligopoly can afford the AI, but can their counterparts like BitChute, Brighteon, Parler, Gab, are these companies able to send multi-million dollar lobbyists to Washington? Are they able to withstand multiple lawsuits and litigation as they try to get their act in order in order to comply with the new more stringent levels of censorship that are going to come into vogue? What's going to happen is they are either going to go out of business or they're going to sell out to these bigger companies and they are just going to become part of the larger platform. And guess what? We're going to have the same level of censorship, except that the censorship will be, again, ratcheted up because these companies do want to protect against the lawsuits that would inevitably come from user-generated content.
You see, and that is the problem. By eliminating 230 protections, you eliminate the competitive elements against these big tech companies that are trying to take them out. 230 protections gave all of these companies a big head start and they grew into these mighty trees. So the metaphor that I'm going to use is like an Amazon rainforest where the big trees have these huge canopies and they block out the sunlight to the seedlings at the ground level. At the current moment, these small little companies are growing like crazy because a lot of the public is realizing that the oligopoly is censoring many, many people, and they want a direct line. They are in favor of free speech for whatever other reason, and a lot of users, including myself, are migrating over to these other companies. BitChute I'm on. I'm on Brighteon. I'm on Rumble. I joined Parler recently. So all these companies are growing very rapidly because there is an opening, and this can't opening in the canopy will be sewn shut if 230 protections are released. It would be like somebody going into the rainforest and cutting down the seedlings at their base, just whack with a machete, and they're gone because the 230 protections right now prevent other people from doing that. Guaranteed that some nefarious actor would upload multiple copyright infringement violations to these platforms, and they truly are platforms that don't censor speech, that doesn't violate U.S. law. And somebody would do this intentionally in order to be able to sue them and have them go under, as I stated before, and be bought out or fold. And then what would happen is because there will be no competitive pressure on YouTube to allow free speech lest they lose their user base or Twitter or Facebook, these huge companies will continue to grow. They will have what would become a monopoly over their selected domain, over their part of the forest, and there will be no new seedlings that will spring up. And so this would be the government essentially shutting down the competition on social media and censorship would be ratcheted up. And who would be the ultimate publishers? Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, and those in charge over at Google. And that is the last thing that we want as a free society. So that is why Donald Trump and also Scott Adams, who I heard discuss this on his podcast, are incorrect when they say that there's no good argument any longer to keep the 230 protections. So then the question becomes, what should happen to the companies that are behaving as publishers rather than platforms? Should the 230 protections apply to them? The answer is that if you behave as a publisher, then you should be reclassified as one. There should be teeth to the 230 protections. If you do not abide by them, if you do not perform in a neutral manner, then you lose them. That is fair. If Facebook, if Twitter as corporations want to relieve themselves of being platforms and want to institute their agenda, then that is their right. But then we should not allow them to have the same protections versus litigation as somebody who's truly acting as a platform. The difference is in the behavior. You cannot claim to be something and then behave in a different way. I can't become... I can't claim to be an honest person and then continually lie to everybody as some of these CEOs have done over and over again. And at that point, when your behavior does not match the definition of the advantages that you get, that's when you lose the 230 protections. But companies like Brighteon that are free speech platforms like BitChute, like Parler, that only strike something down when it doesn't comply to U.S. law, these are the companies that need to have the 230 protection so that we have healthy competition within the tech space. Peace and blessings to everybody out there. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, all notifications. Share the video with a friend if you got something out of it. And most of all, have a fantastic, fantastic day. Peace out, everybody.